So we're 20k from Gunnar Padang, just heading into the nearby village, which is where we're going to be staying for a few days. And this is going to be our first experience of this uh, incredibly ancient megalithic temple pyramid site. So it uh, should be quite a trip, eh, Andy? Yeah, absolutely. And um, uh, I mean, whatever the controversy about the site and its ages and whatever, this is the largest megalithic complex in the whole of Southeast Asia, and that's got to be special alone. So we're just making our way up the first part of Gunung Padang going up the 300 or more steps uh, so we're just gonna That's another interesting mark. Oh, we keep uh, Danny's pointing out some quite strange marks on some of the steps another including mark. cut marks so uh, let's take a closer look without trying to get too much water on the lens okay we have arrived at the first terrace of Gudum Padang um, and we've been greeted with literally hundreds if not thousands of, uh, of andesite blocks uh, ranging in size from about half a metre to about a metre and a half uh, in size which clearly have formed part of an incredibly large structure that was present here in the past and we look straight up and we can see this rock mound known um, as the, the, the crown of the world um, or the crown of the earth which seems to have been this place of sacrifice in the past uh, and just beyond it on the slope or at the base of the slope going from terrace one to terrace two could be the entrance into this underground realm here at Gudum Padang leading into an artificial chamber um, or maybe a natural chamber that's been enhanced in some way and perhaps was the central focus of the veneration or worship that was going on here in the past. The fact that this place is called the, um, the crown of the earth suggests the subject of sovereignty. Uh, perhaps it was the place where the king ruled from, uh, his seat. Um, and because of this, this was the main focus perhaps of this site. So this is a very, very powerful and impo uh, uh, important point, and one we should examine further. These andesite columns are everywhere. There's tens of thousands of them, I think. Many of them, though, have got cut marks on them, which is the first thing we noticed in some of the steps on the way up, which is a tradition we find in Britain, and obviously at Tiwanaku in Malta, even Gebekli Tepe, which could be contemporary here with Gunan Padang. So my thesis is, the one who make a standing stone is not the same as the one who make this altar, make that wall, terrace wall over there. Really? So is so. So do you think this relates to the terrace? Um, sorry, layer one. Yes. This standing does. Rock is layer one. Yeah. They make this this kind of space over there. Right, like a stone setting, as we'd, we'd call it. Yeah. Um, but you think that the the, the rock mound, the the altar. Um, is from an earlier period. Uh, the earlier period, yes. Okay. Yeah, too. That's the same period as the, the that's the wall, rock okay. wall over there. Right. Okay. The step. There's three steps. Okay. It's like a step. Oh, stepping up. I right. see. Yeah. So uh, that's one of the test pit over there. Yeah. So it's only less than one meter. We have a floor of this guy. Right. 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 And um, I noticed uh, in this uh, little rectangular stone setting that there's a large slab. Uh -huh. Face down. Any as any thoughts? Any thoughts on that? Is is that also andesite or yes, it looks a different colour? Yes, but a different kind. It's not columnar join rocks. It's right. Slab of rocks. Okay. Yeah. Um, and presumably uh, it is um, meant to be in this particular stone second. Has it been there for a long time? Do you think? Yes. That, that's okay. That's there. So that that could be some kind of a altar or something like that. Some kind for that. So. Uh, one of my colleagues believes that that space is for sacrifice animals like cows. Right. They bring the cows over there onto the altar and sacrifice right. the okay. cows over there. 
All right. Um, so the pit that you were talking about, is that behind the rock mound? The, you said that there was like a pit or something okay. where sacrifices may have been. Below this, there, there's, uh, there's some interesting features that we look on the ge dialectic. There's some yeah. kind of chamber below that, like yeah. five meters down. So right. Five okay, that, that's really down. interesting. So obviously that's very old because if this doesn't relate to layer mm -hmm. one, yeah. maybe layer two or three or something like so. that, then yeah. the chamber could be much older. Yes. So yes. perhaps pre 8000 BC, according to your reckoning, of the age of the different I think layers. The belong to, yeah, to, to, to belong to the layers two or three, but I think it's layer three. That is, yeah, it's more okay. than 8,000 species. So that is, so beneath yes. here is a chamber that is quite possibly the same age as Gobekli Tepe, perhaps even older, um, and that it is just possible that that also has some link into the underground system that leads to the great hollow cavity, which itself could be an artificial chamber, um, and if not an artificial chamber, pa perhaps an enhanced mm. lava tube. Um, so these are all part of, of, of a much greater structure that exists beneath the main stone settings that you see here today, most of which date to the so-called metal age, um, or the very late Neolithic, which probably we would say, what, 1500 to 2500 BC, something yeah. like that. So underneath where I stand here now is something infinitely older, uh, something many, many thousands of years, almost certainly pre 8000 BC. So we're just leaving uh, Gunung Padang, which also means the mountain of light. And we're gonna head back down now and come back tomorrow. And hopefully there is a bit more light, a bit more sunshine. My first impressions are that this is awesome. This is an incredible site. Uh, it's much bigger than I expected. There's much more stone here than I realized. And both Andrew and I are just blown away by this. There's something very, very important here. And I, and I think like Gebekli Tepe, there's a lot more to be discovered.